The federal government tried to make it the law that all large businesses must require their employees to get vaccinated. But last week, the Supreme Court said you can't do that. And now, companies have to decide whether to keep those requirements in place. And as you can imagine, no matter what the companies choose, they're screwed either way. Well, two big-name companies are taking dramatically different approaches to the federal vaccine mandate. Carhartt is standing by its employee vaccine policy. The decision, though, has sparked some backlash on Twitter with people threatening to boycott the company. Meantime, Starbucks is no longer requiring workers to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The company decided to reverse its policy that was announced earlier this month. The coffee giant's decision not to require workers to get the COVID vaccine or test for the virus is not sitting well with some customers. Customers. People on Twitter are calling for a boycott. Okay, before you panic, it's important to remember that just because people say on Twitter that they're going to boycott something doesn't mean it's going to happen. I mean, the company that people on Twitter say they're going to boycott the most is Twitter. You see how that turns out. And also, good luck boycotting Starbucks. Yeah. How are you going to boycott America's number one bathroom provider? Because, I mean, I've got principles, but my number one principle is to not go number two in my pants. But still, man, the fact that people even jump to this just shows you how polarized America is. You can't even buy coffee or clothes without it being part of, like, a culture war. You bring cookies to a party now, and people will be like, you got some balls bringing Chips Ahoy here after what they said about panda bear rights. This is an Oreo house. Ultimately, though, these companies aren't trying to make a political statement. Whether or not to have a vaccine mandate is just one of many decisions that businesses have to make about what policies work best for them and their employees. Most of the time, just for them. You know, it's like how CVS keeps a strict one cashier per 2,000 customers ratio. And if you don't like it, you can use the self-checkout that can never tell when you've actually put your item in the bag, so you need to call that one cashier to come and help you. Those are your options. But let's move on to some science news. We all know that the surface of the Earth is getting warmer, making life more difficult for everyone except Superman, because you see, Superman... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. But while we're worried about the outside of the planet getting too hot, now it turns out we also have to worry about the inside of the planet getting too cold. New this morning, Earth's core is cooling yeah. faster than scientists initially thought. Yeah, researchers made the discovery while studying a mineral found between the Earth's core and mantle. Scientists say as the Earth cools, it will eventually lose its magnetic field and become a solid, uninhabitable rock. While they don't have an exact timeline on all of that, it's not expected to happen until millions of years from now. Yeah, believe it or not, scientists say that the Earth's core is cooling faster than we thought. And look, guys, I'll be real with you. I didn't even know that the core was cooling in the first place. You know, sometimes I feel like living on Earth is like owning your first home. There's always something new that's random and breaking. And you just got a plumber coming in like, so it turns out the pipes in your light switches are leaking. I have pipes in my light switches? Yeah, how do you think your lights stay hydrated? Now, look, when, when I first heard that the core of the Earth was cooling, all I thought was, wow, great. Now we can finally dig a hole to China. But it turns out... If the core cools down, the magnetic field protecting Earth from cosmic radiation will disappear, and then Earth will turn into a cold, lifeless rock. And I don't mean like upstate New York. I mean like really cold. The silver lining to all of this is that it's only gonna happen millions of years from now. And by then, all humans will be dead, and we'll all be living in the metaverse. I'm living next to Snoop Dogg. So I don't know why scientists are even wasting their time with this, you know? I feel like scientists need to focus. If we don't fix COVID, I can't poop at Starbucks. Finally, let's talk about M&Ms. The only time it's okay to say, I don't like the brown ones. When you have a brand that's been around for 80 years, it's important to keep up with the times. Yeah, even Superman. He used to wear underwear outside his pants, and now he has a suit that's more like body armor even though that's not really necessary since his skin is already impenetrable. But that's not what matters. It just looks cool. So, yeah, M&Ms have been around for a really long time, which is why its famous advertising characters are getting a makeover for 2022. 
Now, Manel, making some rebranding changes. Company leaders say they're trying to make the characters, particularly the female ones, more current and representative of their consumer. Green has swapped her go-go boots for sneakers. Brown is sporting lower, more sensible heels. You're going to see our brand evolve in its look and feel to reflect a dynamic and, pro the dynamic and progressive world that we're living in. For example, green, you'll see her better reflect empowerment and confidence. You're going to see green and brown together being a supporting force for women who are throwing shine and not shade. Okay. I, I appreciate what this chocolate company is trying to do, but making the green M&M less sexy? I'm sorry, guys. I refuse to live in a world where I don't want to f my candy. That's just going against nature. And also, who does, who does this really help? Like, were there women who identified with the green M&M? I'm genuinely asking, genuinely. Because as a guy, I know, I've never looked at any of those M&Ms and been like, yeah, that's me, bro. I feel seen. Like, this whole movement is just weird to me. Because I'm all for representation where it matters, but not in the things that we eat. Like, I don't want to see KFC going, our new chickens could be in your family. Okay, dig in. But I guess that's 2022, right? Women will probably lose the right to an abortion. But on the plus side, the green M&M gets to wear comfortable shoes. Hakuna Matata. Oh, and they're not just updating the green M&M and the brown one. No, the red M&M is going to be less bossy, and the orange M&M will embrace his anxiety. Which, I mean... I guess that makes sense. You should be anxious if you're about to get eaten. I know it's someone's job to think about this stuff, but I feel like we're getting too in-depth on these M&M personalities. You know, now they're like, okay, so the blue M&M was raised in a single-parent household at the height of the Cold War, and his family, out of here, man, it's a chocolate.